As schools continue to return to class this week, students and teachers in Wayne County are being told they should wear masks. Recommendation is for two weeks as the county sees a spike in illnesses such as COVID-19, flu, and RSV. Pamela Osborne live tonight with more on the decision from the district. Pamela. Well, that is the recommendation here for Wayne County, but in Ann Arbor, those schools are taking it one step fur further with the Ann Arbor Public Schools uh, requiring students to wear masks. With kids heading back to the classroom, Wayne County Public Health officials have a recommendation. They're suggesting students and staff mask up for the next couple of weeks, anticipating holiday travel and indoor gatherings could create a higher risk for COVID transmission. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge. I am all for recommending masks, especially in the winter during respiratory virus times. However, mandating masks with an implied penalty if you don't comply, that's a slippery slope. That is what's happening in Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor Public Schools is requiring all students, staff, and visitors to wear well-fitting masks while indoors until January 20th. So the school system may have access today that I'm not aware of, but right now in the state of Michigan, there is no emergency need for mandatory masking. RSV levels are on the decline, flu levels are high, but they often are in the winter, and COVID numbers have remained basically steady. Just last week, the state reported 9,793 new cases and 69 virus-related deaths. Dr. McGeorge says for the districts making masks optional, you should consider what your child's risk level is. If you're the parent of a child that's at higher risk, you should have them wear a mask in school for sure. While the rules may differ depending on where you go. This is a public health matter where everyone has an interest in keeping children safe. The question is what the most efficient and effective way to do that is, and everyone is going to have a different opinion, and everyone's got to basically do their best to understand the science behind it. And I know that none of this is new. We've been dealing for this with this for a little while now, but here's another recommendation from those health officials. If you test positive for COVID, they recommend you stay at home isolated for five days. And then once you get out, you start wearing a mask for another 10 days or so. Um, also, another thing to keep in mind is they are reminding people if you're not well, if you're feeling sick, you should stay home. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Okay, Pamela, thank you.